Hey, this is Ellie Church, and you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and this is going to be my yard sale haul for the weekend of June 17th. Technically, uh, June 17th was the only day I went out, but uh, that's what these are going to be from. Um, not as big a haul as a uh, couple weeks ago. There wasn't a yard sale haul last weekend, from last weekend, because uh, I didn't go. I didn't go out. Uh, I don't know why, to be honest. I think uh, I spent... I, not that I overspent the week before, but I think it's just like, I got to slow down. <laughs> so, uh, I just didn't go. And uh, that's really the the reason. I didn't even think about it, to be honest. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not going to go. I'm going to take a week off. But, um, I did go this weekend. And there were, I did find some things. Nothing, you know, mind-blowing or anything. But, uh, you know, VHS tapes and some video games. And uh, no particular order. I'm kind of, I have them split up from the yard sales that I went to but uh the first thing I got this uh it was like 50 cents it was Christine and yes it is a little bit ripped the tape looks good so that and it was 50 cents and I thought oh I'll get it it it, it I don't know how this really how does this really happen I mean I I don't know but Christine honestly not that big a fan of the movie why did I get it I don't know I thought maybe I don't know why I got it, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not really that big a fan of the movie. I think it's okay. I just say I think there's a lot of hype to it. Um, then I went to um, another yard sale, and technically one of the things that uh, I have, I've got, I got from this person. Uh, you'll see uh, at the end of this video, I'll show you. Um, but the one thing I, I found from this lady is uh, I got for GameCube Spyro Enter the Dragonfly and it doesn't have the booklet but it has like these instruction things and it has a uh, the game the games uh they're they're fine they're no scratches or anything but they need to be cleaned i think i don't know if that one does but one of these do and this one this was a good find uh this one's this one's worth like 15 bucks something like that unfortunately there's no manual but you know i'll get over it uh, I got Lost Kingdoms. This is another one of those sought-after games. It's not like a $60 game or anything. Like I say, it's like 15 bucks. But uh, this is one for a GameCube that people, you know, really want. In fact, my one, in, in fact, in fact, <laughs> my buddy, uh, it was jealous that I found this. He's like, oh, I'm jealous. I, sorry, <laughs> you know what I got to. Uh, and the other one I got at Lost Kingdoms too. Now this one's like a $40, $45 game. I got them for two bucks a piece. Um, so that was a good find. But it does have the manual and the disc is in there, but they put it in a Blockbuster case. And I believe I have uh, a GameCube case that I could just swap it out and put it in an official GameCube case. But the manual's here, manual's in good shape. Uh, I do believe this one might have to be cleaned a little bit, but there's no scratches or anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was a good find. And like I said, there's something else I got from her, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Uh, but moving on, I went to another yard sale, and um, I got Grease 2. I don't know why I got Grease 2. I think it's because, well, first I think it's kind of underrated. Everybody knows Grease. Not really a lot of people know Grease 2. It's okay. It's not bad. Michelle Pfeiffer looks hot in it. And I never really see this out. Like, for me anyway, I never see it to, to pick up. So I figured, why not, you know? And then uh, they also had, and these were like quarter a piece. And then I got two orange tapes, Blue's Clues, and uh, Maurice Syndex Little Bear, a kiss for Little Bear. I got them for the orange tapes so I can, you know, you know, spool swap in that. So that's why I got them. And then uh, the, this lady actually has something else too that I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, but uh, she also had two uh, some PlayStation 2 games. I picked up two of them. Uh, got Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. I already have this one. Now it's, it's marked at a two down there. Which is weird. She marked every one of them with a little two. Why can't they just... They had them in a pile. Why don't they just make a sign that says PlayStation 2 games, $2. But she said... Oh, you get them for a dollar a piece. Okay. So I got Ratchet and Clank going Commando. I already have it. 
Uh, it is complete. It has the booklet and everything. And it uh, looks good. The game looks good. So I picked that up. I thought, I don't know. Maybe I'll trade it in or... I don't know if the... No, not really trade in. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll find a game store that maybe will take it. I don't know. Uh, and it's uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. I, I don't think I have this one. Uh, this is another one that's complete. And uh, the game looks good. I think there was one other game there that I wanted. But not too... I didn't want it like too bad, but it was scratched up. So I didn't bother with it. But yeah, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Um, yeah. I like certain games, like I like them type of games. But um, then after that, there really wasn't anything at the yard sales uh, today. I hit a bunch or today on Saturday. I, I hit a bunch up, but like there was, I was hit, you know, really hitting nothing. So I went to the flea market and uh, picked up a couple things here. They were, I think he has them three for a dollar or something like that. And uh, and there's also fill a bag for three dollars or fill. It's two bags for five or something like that, but it's really, you know, the same kind of crap, crap you see everywhere, but I have to, you know, go through everything and find good stuff, but I got here the package. I already have this, but this is a better looking copy. I think mine has like a number on it or some crap. I don't know, but this is a, a better looking package. It actually says dual pack. I guess it came with something else, but I don't really care <laughs> the package. Uh, now this I already have too, but this is a this is really really nice copy. Uh, Meatballs three. In fact, I'll show you my my copy of Meatballs three that I had. I got it off a trade on Instagram or something. But like, look at the difference in those tapes. Uh, I, I so I was like, yeah, this is definitely a an upgrade. The back looks almost you know you could tell this is the newer one and this is an older one. It doesn't look as bad. But that front and the sides kind of the same. But the that cup, those covers. I mean, there's a big difference there. I mean, this this one looks incredibly faded. But um, so I had to, you know, I saw how nice this one was. So I had to, I had to pick it up. And I like Meatballs Three. It's very underrated. And I will admit, I I rewatched it recently, and it's not as good as I remember. But I do really like it. And. Uh, you know, I, th I think it's a fun watch. I like the Meatballs movies. Meatballs 4, I even like that, but it's really not that good at all. <laughs> but uh, and this one I got here is Surviving the Game. Uh, this is a really good movie. I think this is kind of underrated, too. It's uh, Ice-T is like a homeless guy, and they uh, these rich guys want to hunt him, basically. Like, they own this property, and they want to hunt him. And so they do, and what they don't know is that he's like, you know... I forget what he is. Is he's uh, there's something with him. Like he's he has a background, I guess. But uh, it's actually a really good movie. Gary Busey's in it. Uh, what's his name? Dennis Hopper, not Dennis Hopper. Uh, Rucker Hauer is in this. Pretty decent movie. Uh, I haven't seen it in a long time, but uh, I remember, I liked it and especially the ending. The ending's pretty cool. Uh, I found this here. Canon video. Uh, Chuck Norris, One Riot, One Ranger, <laughs> with uh walker texas ranger look at that cover maybe this will be the cover of the of the video <laughs> i don't know it'll probably be something really dumb like like that like that i probably it's probably that one um then i got the last exit to brooklyn um actually i'm lying no i don't know i think i got a couple off of another guy too and i feel bad now i'm not mentioning it but whatever these are all in the flea market uh, last exit to Brooklyn. I don't know. Jennifer Jason Lee. And this one I thought was interesting. I picked this up because of who's in it. And I never knew they were in a movie before. And uh, that's Breakaway. And look at who's in it. Tanya Harding's in this movie. I mean, also Terry Thompson and Joe Estevez. But, like, Tanya Harding's in it. I looked it up. I think this goes for, like, 15 bucks or something like that. Um, I don't really care about that. It's from... FP Incorporated, and uh, I don't know, it's from 1996. I just got it because Tanya Harding's in it. I thought, well, that's pretty neat. Like, she's in it, that, you know. Um, and then this has nothing to do with yard sales, but I figured I'm just going to throw this in here because I don't want to make another video for it. But I went to the Salvation Army then later on when I got home. I picked up some, some uh, 
movies here. I got uh, the Joker, the you know the Batman Adventures of Batman and Robin. Got the Joker. Uh, another one here, Batman the Animated Series: Tales of the Dark Knight. So I got that. And these, uh, this one, Spider-Man and his amazing friends. A uh, Firestar is Born, Volume Two. I really like the cover to this. I have uh, like a couple others here, like that look like that. Well, not this one, but uh, cl classic cartoons, cartoon classics from Walt Disney, starring Chip and Dale. I figured I picked it up. You know, if nobody would want it, I, you know, my son will watch it. Uh, and I got these two. I thought these was these were pretty cool because it's from the the show X Men. And uh, this Enter Magneto, but like I really like how they, you know, it looks like the the uh, color scheme, I th uh, of it, not color scheme, the uh, the layout of it. I really like that. And then here you got uh, Days of Future Past, uh, and I did I wa rewatched this one. I haven't seen it in a long time, and you could tell like the the movie uh, they kind of tried going with that, but it's totally different. Like in this, Bishop goes back, and in the movie. Wolverine goes back, but it's still it was a cool watch. I want to keep watching the rest of them. I believe they're on Netflix. We'll see. <laughs> I'd like to watch a lot of things. And then the last thing I got here is the Immortals. <laughs> I know I go from cartoons to this, but uh, Eric Roberts, Tia Carrere, and Tony Curtis is in it, and you know Eric Roberts is like the best actor in the world. But uh. It has a squeeze case. Well, anyway, uh, so now I'll show you what I what else I got. Uh, the two other things that are, they're bigger items, bigger in the sense that it they wouldn't I wouldn't be able to walk around in here with them. They'd be in the way, so I I just have them out. So I'm gonna go show you them. Okay, so this is the other thing that I got off the lady that I got the GameCube games off of. Uh, this there's two separate ones here. Uh, she had marked four dollars on it, and I said I'll take it. And she goes, "Oh, there's two of them, so it would have been eight dollars." I'm like, "Oh, I thought it was like one piece." And she said, "No, it's two pieces, um, but you know, you can have them both for five dollars." I was like, "Okay, these things are kind of, kind of pricey." So on top of them, I have my TV and the VCR and that that uh, I found two weeks ago or so at the at the uh, my first yard sales. So that's that's what I'm using this on it looks way better than the other thing and then I what I have in here right now is uh, my Nintendo DS and the couple games and uh, so yeah I got that I thought five bucks for both of those I thought that was a good deal because like I said you go to the store like Walmart or something and they're a little they're not that cheap they're not a little pricey not like breaking the bank but like for what they are and the price of them it's outrageous but now I got one more thing to show you what I got, so let's go check that out. All right, so the other thing I got is this chair. Uh, this is actually from the lady I got the PlayStation 2 games off. Of. Um, it's weird because I I never usually do this, but I sn I smelled it, like I sniffed it, as uh, you know I don't want it to smell like smoke or cat piss or dog or whatever. You know I I just I like dogs, but I don't want it to smell, you know. I want if it's gonna have a smell, I want it to be my smell. And um, but yeah, I got this off the lady. Uh, she wanted two dollars for it, so I didn't even haggle. I thought two dollars seems pretty good for that. And there's no tears or rips or anything. And like I said, it didn't stink. So two dollars, I thought, yeah, why not? I'll take it. And uh, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but you know, it's a seat. So there's that. So yeah, that's it. That's my haul. Uh, like I said, not as uh, grand of a haul as the other one, but I got a couple useful things out of out of it, you know. Uh, so it was worth the trip. It was worth the gas money. It was worth getting out. And I honestly um, didn't go out right at 8 o'clock. I usually try to get out at 8 o'clock. Nah, didn't happen. But whatever. So, you know, I'd say it was a good haul. I'm glad I went out. So now going to next week, may, we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going on in the future, so I don't know if I'm going to be going out this Saturday or not. I probably will. I'd like to, but soon coming up is the uh, VHS convention at the drive-in and July like 7th or something like that. So I kind of am 
think I might have to save up for that, or at least you know not spend so much money. We'll 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 find out. But who knows? So that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Harmino, and the Dead Space on Facebook. My page, well, everybody's page, but I created it. <laughs> and uh, you know, come and join and uh, post your stuff. You know, your videos and that. You know, feel free. But uh, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching, and I will talk to everybody later. Happy yard sailing. Bye.